Hello guys and welcome back to another video of Architects 3DP. This is the seventh episode of the Build the Best DIY 3D Printer series. Today we are going to install the X-axis electronics, finish the X-axis with only having to install the cables, and at the end of the video we'll get something more or less like this. Now I'm going to show you the components that we'll need for this part of the printer, but before starting, be sure to subscribe and to ring that bell to be notified when cool stuff is uploaded. If you do it, you will help me creating new content and growing the channel to reach more special viewers like you. Alright, so the components that we will need to build this part of the printer are the next. First of all, the X-axis assembly we built in the last video, that you can check clicking in the top right corner or in the link in the description. Then for the X-axis idler, we'll need the 623H bearing with housing, an 18mm M3 screw and an M3NN nylon nut. For the motor installation, we'll need the motor itself, that is an M17, the GT216 pulley and three 18mm M3 screws. Finally, the GT2 belt itself. For this episode of the series, we'll not use any 3D printed component, so link down in the description, you will find the links to buy all the necessary components from our affiliate links on Amazon, so you can buy them while helping the channel if you want. Ok, so once we know all the necessary components, we are going to start with the build, and we'll do it with the X-axis idler. So we'll pick up the 623H bearing with housing, and the 18mm M3 screw and nylon nut. We'll use a pair of tweezers to introduce the bearing into the 3D printed piece and hold it in place, while we introduce the 18mm M3 screw keeping it in. Once we got it, we'll flip the structure and we'll place the nylon nut in the embedded gap and we'll use an allen key or your preferred tool to tighten it in place. Don't tighten it too hard since we need the bearing to be able to spin properly. Next, we'll install the NEMA 17 stepper motor. It will go exactly in this position, with the cable connector facing downwards like this. Once clear, we'll flip the X-axis and we'll insert the three 18mm M3 screws in position. And tighten them a little bit using a screwdriver. As you can see here, the motor is properly attached to the structure and the carriage can move smoothly without making any vibration. The next step will be to install the GT216 pulley and we are going to do it in this orientation. Once inserted, you have to align one of the little screws on the flat side of the motor axis and before tightening it, we are going to install the GT2 belt so the pulley will be perfectly centered. So as we did in the Y axis, we insert one of the extremes in the carriage. Remember that the jared side must go on the inside. Then we'll run the belt around the pulley we just installed. We'll pass it through the X carriage one more time, then run it around the idler, and finally install the other end of the belt in position on the X carriage. Actually the belt is not tight enough, so what we are going to do is to release two of the three screws that are holding the stepper motor, so it will rotate a little bit. Then we'll insert the end of the belt one more time, tightening it with our fingers, and once done we'll tighten the motor in place one more time, and tighten the two screws we released before using a screwdriver. Even though we tighten it, we'll be able to tighten it later when we install the X-axis on the printer using these two screws we installed last week. Ok, so once everything installed, we are going to move the carriage to see how it works. It does perfectly, so finally we are going to keep moving it in order to center the pulley attached to the NEMA 17 stepper motor. Once we got the correct position, we'll grab our iron key and tighten the two little screws of the pulley, keeping it a solid build. We'll check one more time that the carriage can move properly. Notice that you should not move the carriage very fast, since you could break the stepper motor if you do. So yeah, as you can see, it's working perfectly and the belt is correctly tightened. The last component we'll need to install to the X-axis will be the mechanical X-axis end stop that I have here. I bought a pack of 10 on Amazon that you will find linked in the description of the video, and I released this little mechanic click that it has installed and we won't really need. It will go right in this position, so the carry will click it when it reaches the position 0 like that. To touch it in place we are going to use two small M2 screws, but before installing them we are going to clean the holes in case they are not cleaned directly from the 3D printer. Once done we will place the mechanical end stop in place and insert the two M2 screws in their position using, as always, your screwdriver. Once installed we are going to test it and as you can hear, It is working perfectly. 
Finally, I'm going to make as always a recap of all the components we used for this build. First, for electronics and a specific hardware we used, an EMA 17 stepper motor with its GT2-16 pulley, also the 623H bearing with housing, and the GT2 belt, as well as a mechanical end stop. Finally, for regular hardware, we'll need 4x18mm M3 screws, 1x M3 NN nylock nut, and 2 M2 screws to hold the mechanical end stop. Okay guys, so that has been everything for this short episode. If you're going to buy the components for this episode, you should know that we will need 5 NEMA 17 stepper motors for the complete build of the printer. So it will be cheaper if you buy a pack of 5 on Amazon. Remember that you will have the links in the description to download all the modified STL files, as well as the links to buy all the hardware through our affiliate links on Amazon. If you still don't have a 3D printer to print all the 3D printed parts yourself, you can contact me by email through my address architects3dp at gmail.com. In the next episode, we'll prepare the main aluminium frame of the printer that will hold the Z-axis and all the other attached. So be sure to subscribe and to ring that bell to be notified when cool stuff is uploaded. Hit the like button if you liked the video, leave a comment and share this episode so more people will be able to learn with the project. Finally, I just wanted to give a special thanks to all of you, and especially to our Patreon supporters for continuing to make this channel possible. If you want to join them and support the channel as well, getting nice rewards and making me super happy, you can do it navigating to patreon.com slash architects through the big or clicking here in the top right corner. Okay guys, so as always, see you in the next video.